oh, I'm sure by now there are probably a hundred to a thousand, maybe even a million, angry, pissed off, irate, eagle fan videos all over social media, and rightfully so. What the fuck, Philadelphia? How, how, how do you lose to the Miami Dolphins? The 2-9 and nine Miami Dolphins! Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Well, I honestly can't fucking think straight. Like... Anyone who watches any of my shit on YouTube, you'll know that I don't script anything. It's just whatever comes to my mind. And, oh my God. Like, thank God I was at work today because, whoo! And I work in a public place, so I had to keep myself under control and not just burst out with cuss words and smashing shit. Lord knows. Oh, I wanted to. The, no one can reason with me. Right now. No one can. There is just no. There is no language. In all of Elven and Tish. For this treachery. What the fuck? What more did you want, Philadelphia? Dallas lost to Buffalo, falls to 500. They're playing like I knew they would when it really mattered. It's the Dallas Cowboys. They always turn to shit when it really matters. But you guys, you had the whole fucking season set up for you, the, the, the rest of the season. Down the stretch, through the cold months, everything was aligned for you on a silver platter to maybe tie or take the division. Now I don't care what you fucking do. I bleed fucking green. I've been a diehard Eagles fan for fucking since I was six years old. This has got to be the most embarrassing Top five fucking embarrassing loss in Eagles history. No excuse. There is no excuse why they lost today. No excuse. I have a right to burn all my fucking Eagles gear. I this is absolutely disgusting and appalling. I'm beyond rational thought. I'm beyond rational anything. I'm just pissed off enough to say, fire Doug Peterson. Fire that whole coaching staff. Fire Howie Roseman. Everybody in the Eagles front office. Jeffrey Lurie, fuck off. It's time to sell the team. I'm grateful you finally brought us a Super Bowl. But Jesus fucking Christ. To go this far downhill in two fucking years? What the fuck? That there is no fucking excuse for why you guys are underachieving this badly. The fucking Miami Do And what the fuck's your deal, Miami? Why the hell are you even playing at all? Why do you care? You're just fucking up your draft order now. So what the fuck? This is the second year in a row. They have now lost to a Ryan Fitzpatrick-led fucking Florida team. Why do we suck in Florida? The fucking Miami Dolphins. Two win Miami Dolphins. This is worse when you lost to Detroit. How do you beat Buffalo? They creamed Buffalo. How do you guys cream Buffalo who just made Dallas their bitch? 
Dallas lost to the fucking Jets. You guys whooped the Jets. Now explain to me. Uh, I want to apologize. I sound stuffed up. I'm coming off of a weekend cold. And my throat's starting to hurt. But I don't care. I am just fucking irate. How do they beat the Bills and the Jets and lose to the fucking Dolphins? You know what? Fuck you, Philadelphia Eagles. You got no one to blame but yourselves. Maybe you said something. Maybe somebody said something that pissed off Miami. That feels like it's been the season all year. Like the Eagles have had a target on their back. Why? They were the defending world champs last year. Hello? What the fuck is everybody's problem? For the third week in a row now, the Eagles have been burned by a trick play. And this one really takes the cake. A punter to a kicker? What? I don't know who our special teams coach is, but fire his ass. Jim Schwartz, he's out of here. Doug Peterson is in the fucking hot seat. I. How do you lose... To the fucking Dolphins. I don't understand it. Do you guys not care? You obviously don't care. I mean, what the fuck did the Eagles do to piss everybody off this year? Because everybody has been slapping them around like a fucking bitch. All these fucking trick plays. What the fuck? Jesus, they pull off one trick play in the Super Bowl. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants to say, fuck you, watch this. The fuck? How do you hold New England? How the hell does this defense play so well against New England and Seattle, holding them to 17 points, roughing up Tom Brady and Russell Wilson, and you get torched by Ryan Fitzpatrick? It's Ryan fucking Fitzpatrick. Not Tom Brady. Not Russell Wilson. Not Lamar Jackson. Not Patrick Mahomes. I could go on. Ryan fucking overrated as Vinny Testaverde. Patrick, suck my fucking nutsack. Fuck you, Eagles. Fuck every single one of you. From Lurie, to the office, to the coaching staff, to every fucking player. You guys deserve every bunch of shit that gets thrown at you from all us fans. Because that was just disgusting. I don't give a fuck if it was a ball game. It shouldn't have been a ball game. They should have kicked this team's ass. I don't give a fuck what they do the rest of the year. So they go on a four-game win streak to close out the year against the NFC East. Maybe possibly Dallas falls all over themselves and somehow the Eagles still win the division. whoop de fucking do You don't deserve shit, Philly. You guys might as well just boycott the rest of the year and start preparing for next year. And I tell you what, next year the Eagles better be taking fucking heads. Because it's personal. Every fucking team this year has embarrassed you in some way. And I can't understand why. But it's personal now. Obviously, everybody wants to go to war with you. So next year, somebody better get their head on straight. Do their fucking job. And next year, you guys better come out fucking guns blazing. Because it's personal to me. To all us fans. When you guys lose a game like this, do you know how bad it makes the rest of us look? Do you know how hard it is to be an Eagles fan? Having to take shit from Cowboy fans, Steeler fans, Patriot fans, Skins, 
Giant fans, the list can go on. And we got every right to chew you out. You know why? Because we're your meal ticket. Me and every other fan that bleeds green. Who pays the tickets? Who pays the merchandise? Where do you think your fucking paychecks come from, assholes? You're lucky I don't live in Philly, or I would be driving by the Novacare complex throwing bricks through your fucking office windows. And if you think I'm going to be arrested and fined, fuck you. You can take the money out of your own paycheck, because I already paid for your shit. You guys better be disgusted with yourselves. Yo, know, Doug Peterson shouldn't have to say a fucking word. Even he should look at himself in the mirror and be like, what's wrong with you? How did you lose to this team? How did you get out coached by the Miami fucking Dolphins? I know I'm calling the season over. I know there's four games left, but they're five and fucking seven. I know they can still go nine and seven, still win the division, but at this point, why should I care? They should have beat this team. And if by some miracle they do manage to win the East and squeak into the playoffs... You really think we're going to go far against the likes of San Francisco? And another thing, we beat Green Bay. You guys beat Green Bay. How do you beat the Packers? Wasn't that in Lambeau Field? I can't remember. But how do you beat the Packers? And lose to the fucking Dolphins. You guys should... I, I, you know what? I, I hope they're running laps. Right now. Or as soon as they get back home here. Go outside in the cold. And run fucking laps. Till you can't walk. Because fuck you guys. Uh, I I can't remember the last time I've been this irate over an Eagles loss. Th this ranks right up there when they lost to Tampa Bay in the 2 NFC Championship. I mean, this ranks right up there. Son of a bitch. My voice is about done. My throat hurts. And I know there's a lot of other Eagle fans out there with more mellow heads. Kudos to you. And I know they're going to remain optimist. Good for you. You remain optimist. But I'm a realist. This team is fucking trash. Whatever magic they had two years ago... When they won that Super Bowl, it's well gone. I understand a lot of key pieces are missing, but that's no fucking excuse. Good teams find a way to win. You want to argue they were hurt most of this year? They were hurt most in 2017, and they found ways to win. A lot of you want to put the blame on Wentz. It's not just Wentz. It's the whole fucking team. It's the whole team! The whole fucking team! So I'm quitting on the team at 5-7. and seven. With four games to go. All against the division. The lowly Giants. The lowly Redskins. Who just beat the Panthers. I won't be surprised if they lose to Washington. 
They should have lost to them in week one. Had to come from behind and beat them. I won't be surprised if they lose to the Redskins. <clears throat> I still want Dallas. You fuckers. You want any reprimand you want any redemption. You want any kind of forgiveness from us fans. You better fucking beat Dallas. You better sleep the Giants. And you better you better go 4 0 the rest of the way. You better go 4 fucking 0 the rest of the way. Even if you don't win the division, which you should if you win out. Depending on what the hell Dallas does, but you know what? They're good at fucking themselves over. You better fucking win out, Philly. Because at this point, I don't care anymore. Because obviously you don't fucking care. There's no excuse for why you guys underachieved so fucking poorly this year. Same shit as last year. You didn't go out. You didn't strengthen the defensive backfield. And now it sounds like I'm about to... Oh, what's the fucking word? Contradict myself? <laughs> no excuse for why they're doing so badly, and now I'm about to explain why. But yeah, they didn't do anything to strengthen the defensive backfield. Still same shit as last year. Can't stop anybody. There's only one guy on this team that I'm not pissed at. And that's Brandon Graham. I fucking love that guy. The only guy out there busting his ass, making anything happen for the Eagles. And he's got to and he's got to go through this crap. I know it's a team sport, but there are times you can't tell me there are times individualism's going to sink in. Especially in most frustrating moments. <laughs> That's what you deserve, Philadelphia. That's what you deserve. You guys have some serious soul searching to do. There better be some major changes come this off season. You guys better get some goddamn defensive players, linebackers, defensive backs, and you might as well get wide receivers. There's some hope with Miles Sanders. He's starting to impress me week in and week out. I'm not giving up on Carson Wentz just yet. We still have one of the best O-lines in the league. I think we're definitely missing Frank Wright. Jim Schwartz, get rid of him. <laughs> he doesn't know how to stop anybody. Fire the special teams coordinator. Revamp on that. Tell Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson their asses are in the hot seat. Not a proud moment to be an Eagles fan, but I will always bleed green. But I sure as hell want to puke green right now. All right. I think that's enough ranting for one night. I can't think of any clever way to send this off, but, you know. Fly, Eagles, fly. Bleed green forever. Let's go birds. Have a good evening, everybody.